You know, I'm not sure what to do with all of this. You know, you could take all of this out and put it in the yard. That's what you could do with it. Put it in the yard? Are you crazy? I can't put all this stuff out in the yard. You know how much money I got wrapped up into this? Hey, look, your wife says she don't care. All of this stuff, it gots to go. So either we throw it away or we put it in the yard. What do you want to do? Well, we sure ain't going to throw it away. So I guess we're going to have to put it in the yard. Damn. <laughs> the wife wins every time. Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you guys again. Make sure to leave a like on this video as always. And of course, if you're new to this channel, you dang sure to hit that subscribe button. You also got to enable notification because YouTube sucks and they don't tell anybody that I uploaded videos unless you like click the little bell. But anyway, with that being said, we have a project doing today. You see these shelves, right? They're called muscle shelves. They're like warehouse style um, shelves. They're pretty big. The, the whole thing is over 72 inches tall. And these are, I don't know how long, like three or four feet long. And then they're like 18 inches wide. Plenty of room to put everything. As you can see, I've kind of, I got all the motherboards laid out and some graphics cards. And then I started to put out our, some of our, you know, CPU coolers. And then you have, SSDs right here. These are all SSDs and M.2s. I got some RAM laid out. Uh, just kind of put a couple of things up here. Um, but anyway, the whole point of this is that all of this, this shelving, this is all going. I'm taking all of this out today and this will be taken out as well all of this so we're going to just basically remove this entire thing now I bought two of these shelving units okay so I have another one to build that's going to go here and then what I plan on doing is you see how this is kind of like that I plan on taking the top one and moving it um, all the way up to like the top so that way it gives me a nice big workspace so the second shelving unit that's going to be over here is going to have a shelf like this and I can use that as a small build table or just a small table to put things on to do things with so that's what I am going to be doing today um, I'm not sure how to do this I also have that in there and that is also filled with products um, all kinds of stuff I mean it's just ridiculous how much computer stuff I have and I'm thinking about bringing those out and putting them in the corner there I don't know we got a long way to go the first thing we got to do is take this out boop, and then I got to remove all of the stuff that's on these shelvings I got to take everything off including that because that is attached to this so I got to take everything out I figure what I'll do is I'll take the table and move the table out right put it out in the hallway so that way everything I take off I can put on the table and set it out there and then I'll have to figure out what to do with this now a lot of this stuff um, is still in the box so I mean it's valuable things so I I might try to thin some of this down I don't know I do have a lot of a camera equipment and stuff up there that could probably go out in the garage and stuff I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my light Ooh, awesome and stuff but anyway that's what I plan on doing today so let's do this run the intro y'all know the deal I'm Don with tech PCs and I appreciate you for watching I approve this
Well, so I've gotten those successfully off of the wall. Now my plan was to just take everything and stack it on this table and then just slide it out. But guess what? It doesn't fit. No matter which way I try to turn it, wiggle it, open that door, open that door, take that door off the hinge. No matter which way I try to do it, it just, it's like that much too long. It's, it's ridiculous. It's like that much. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. I have no idea how that got turned on not really sure but anyway we're going to take these out my wife would like them um i spent really good money on these shelves um for one the wood that they're made out of and the type and blah 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 but anyway they're going to go in her office and then we're going to go here and here let's go in here i got the door open i got some stuff out here but anyway here is the other kit right here so we have to we have to figure out uh what we're gonna do with all of this stuff uh i'm not exactly sure uh, i did find something though that i forgot that i even had this i forgot i even had that i was like wow where did that come from i forgot all about that and then it i forgot how many of these rgb mats i actually have look there's one right there i got four of these i got two of the little ones and then two of the big ones in there um i don't know what to do with all this stuff Jeez. all right well i guess i gotta get this stuff out of here so i can do something with this table this table is gonna go in the garage yeah i remove I didn't, I didn't see this coming. Nope. So what I did is I removed these, these, uh, these boards that I had and they are what I use for structural, um, because of the beams and that's was how I had that thing held. Well, when I hung the beam up, uh, I guess painting the room was an afterthought. And I guess that board was already up, so I just painted around it. But yeah, that's the original color of the wall before I painted it all black. So it looks like I'm going to have, and then also where the paint, where you can see here where the paint pulled. So it looks like I'm going to have to do some painting, which I didn't expect that. So yeah, and of course we still have our mess that we're dealing with all right um i guess what i need to do is get the shelf in here and see if we can't build the shelf so i guess that's what we're doing now. So if I direct your attention to the RGB corner over here, uh, I have this really nice power strip right here. Um, it even comes with like mounting brackets. I'm thinking that I would like to mount that power strip maybe running along here or maybe putting it along here but on the back side so that way you can't see it i don't know all right well i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i appreciate you guys watching um 
there will probably be a part two to this and then once I get it all done I'll show it to you guys how I want it so with that being said make sure to leave a like I'll see you guys next time and thank you for watching